Mr Chair. Um, I welcome the opportunity to speak on this important reform, voluntary assisted dying legislation. I'd like to thank the Honourable Kayan Ma for putting this on the agenda and for his leadership on this issue. This has been a long-term priority for the Greens, and members will be aware that Mark Parnell moved his own bill back in 2008 and again in 2010. Uh, but of course, Chair, this is the first time that I've had the opportunity to put my support for this reform on the public record, so I wanted to make a few remarks about that. I will be exercising my vote in favour of this bill. Mr President, like many in our community, my support for this reform is based on my lived experience and my family's experience. My nana, Norma, died more than a decade ago after a long-term battle with Alzheimer's disease. She had the disease for more than 20 years. In her final years, she had no quality of life at all. Her mother, my great-grandmother, also died of Alzheimer's disease. And I know when my nana was in good health that this was not a death that she wanted for herself. And indeed, she talked often about not wanting to um, face the same death that her um, mother faced. During her final years, she was in a, a vegetative state. She was in obvious distress. She was unable to eat uh, without assistance. Her death was prolonged, and it was certainly one that was without dignity. Now, obviously, Chair, I recognise that this uh, bill before us will not deal with people in my grandmother's situation. She would not have been able to uh, provide consent. But seeing her suffering, prolonged as it was over many, many years, has solidified my belief that, as legislators, we need to do what we can to give people choice in their final days. I'll be exercising my vote in favour of this bill for all those that I have loved who have not had the right to die with dignity and all those South Australians who have not only had to endure the loss of a loved one but have also seen them die in prolonged suffering. No one should have to endure that in modern Australia. My thoughts are with them tonight. It may be too late for us to help them, but we can do something to help other South Australians in the future. I do want to acknowledge all those who have shared their experiences in recent days. These matters of life and death are always difficult to talk about. In particular, I was saddened to read the news about Kira Richards' health in the advertiser. Kira is somebody I went to university with. I remember her from my Flinders Uni days. To quote Kira, these laws are not about choosing death, but about giving people a death that works for them when they are dying and death is near. As Kira says, the choice of whether I die is not one that I get to make, but how and when I die can be a choice and it is one that I should be free to make. Those are her words. I really do hope that this parliament respects Kira's choice and the choice of all other South Australians to end their lives with dignity.